what's up, Hype Hunters? So there's been a lot of hype surrounding the release of three new phones, the iPhone 10, the Samsung Note 8, and the Google Pixel 2 XL. Then we have all three phones of us here today, so we're gonna pit them against each other to see if they're worth the hype. But before we begin, just a disclaimer, um, we are so not tech experts, so if you're watching this review expecting like us to ramble on about tech specs and all that stuff, um, this is just not the right review to watch. Mm -mm. We're just two regular but beautiful girls fiddling with three phones and giving our opinions on them. That's right! So should we begin? Mm -hmm. Let's get started. Okay, so we've got the three phones here. We've got the iPhone 10, we've got the Samsung Note 8, and we've got the Google Pixel 2 XL. First impressions, the iPhone 10 is like the smallest of the lot, and the Note 8 is the biggest, like by a tiny margin. And um... That's all she has to say about the phone size and design. Ah. So moving on. <laughs> the Pixel and the Note 8 have always on display, so you can see the time without even touching it, but the iPhone is like just sleeping. The biggest differentiating factor, I feel, is the fact that the Note 8 comes with a stylus. So it's put at the bottom of the phone and you can just pop it out. And once you pop it out, immediately the menu for the stylus comes up. For me, I think that's like a big thing for me because I love to be able to draw my photos and um, I'm a freelancer, so if people send me contracts, I want to be able to sign and send it right back. So this is like amazing for me. Mm. So let's talk about accessories. So I think like clearly because the iPhone is the most widely, widely used. used, so the number of like accessories you can get is probably like the most varied. You can get like a lot of cases for the iPhone. I've seen like a bunch of Note 8 cases around as well. I think it's safe to say that the Google Pixel 2 have the least um, options for cases. Yeah, because you don't see a lot of people using it. I don't think it's a deal breaker, but mm. it's just a minor thing that might be like annoying. Yeah. We're gonna try testing the phone out. First up, let's try the phone assistants. Mm. Each phone comes with its own assistant. The iPhone 10 comes with Siri, the Samsung Note 8 comes with Bixby, and the Google Pixel 2 XL comes with Google Assistant. All of them are voice activated. So for example, you can be like, okay Google, ah, how do we get to Orchard Ion? The best way to get to Ion Orchard Mall by car is via Fort Canning Road. Okay Google, how do we get to Orchard Ion via public transport? The best way to get to Ion Orchard Mall by public transport is to catch 175 departing at 12.06pm from SMU. Let's try it with the Samsung Note 8. Okay. Hi Bixby! Hi Bixby! Ah. How do we get to Orchard Ion? Hey, I'm um, how do? <laughs> how do we get to Orchard Ion? Okay, there we go. It appears we can't do that in the context. Google map me to Orchard Ion. Well, it just brought up Google. Alright, so Google Assistant actually picked up speech pretty quickly and it pulled out results really quickly and, and it's it was very accurate. accurate. And uh, for the Bixby, I would have probably got gotten better results if I had just pulled out maps myself. Alright, so we're gonna try it with the iPhone 10 now. Hey Siri, take us to Orchard Ion. Which Orchard Ion? Okay, so that's an extra step. Okay, so it automatically uses Apple Maps. Take us to Orchard Ion via public transport. Which Orchard Ion? Tap <sighs> getting transit directions to Lion Orchard. It's still showing me via like driving. It doesn't tell us anything about how to get there via public transport. It doesn't learn from previous attempts. Yeah. So we chose like the first option for Orchard Ion and it still kept asking us. So that's one thing. And also it doesn't give public transport directions. Yeah. So far Google Assistant was the most uh, what do you call it? Accurate? And, like it was the most accurate in understanding what our intention behind the, the command was. Yeah, it was the most efficient. Okay Google, tell me a joke. This might make you laugh. How many teenagers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Whatever. <laughs> Wow, Google Assistant has attitude. It was like, whatever. Well, I mean, it was lame, but it was pretty funny. Hi, Bixby. Tell me a joke. What's the best way to cart wood? Little by whittle. I have to say that jokes on both phones are really lame. For See? iPhone 10, tell me a joke. I can't. I always forget the punchline. That's not funny, that's like... I'm going to give you one more chance. Tell me another joke. What did one iPhone say to the other iPhone? I used to know this one. Uh, that's not funny. Who's making these jokes? Tell me a really funny joke. If I told you a joke in my language, I'd have to explain it. Okay, this phone is cold. It's not just cold, it's condescending. We're trying to make friends here. And it's like, we have to... It's like, I don't want to tell you a joke because then I'll have to explain it. I forget the punchline. It just doesn't want to hang out. Mm -mm. Okay. So, lame, lame. Don't want to be friends. Unfriendly. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to test the cameras. We're going to look at the portrait photos that I took of Ross using the back camera of all phones. So first we start with the Apple. The bokeh is pretty good. 
your skin looks great. Although, you notice how the shine peaks once you have a bit of oil and you completely lose detail at that area. Yeah, it's just white, like overexposed. Yeah, and then your fingers in the this. foreground, blown also. Yeah. So details are gone compared to the Google. Oh. oh, I do have to say that I think the Pixel 2 photo is a bit dark, but it's easily brightened up. I can still see the shine, but it's between it the detail. Natural, yeah. The photo is definitely more blue for the Samsung. The it's got this out. like glowy, faded out look. Right now, I think the Google has the photos that are most true to real life. Yeah. For me, I like the Google Pixel 2 yeah. color. It's just, it's just nicer, not so yellowish. Yeah. Here is the Apple selfie that we took. And let's go on to the Google selfie. My goodness. Wow, it's so sharp. When I you can zoom see my in, pores. you can see all my foundation like just puffing up on my pores, which also means I need to do a good exfoliation when I go home tonight. If you look at the technical aspects of the photo, it's really good like the bokeh is very consistent so it looks great but then like our face is super sharp then you can see all our imperfections yeah. i still think it looks great then the last one is the samsung picture it's like warmer so it's more yellowish it does beautify us i think a little, a little bit. bit i still like the one on the google pixel 2 yeah i think the pixel yeah. has the best picture so far. So obviously we take photos at night as well, so that's another way of telling whether or not a camera is good. So we have our special correspondent Rebecca from Hackett to help us with this. Let's check out what she has taken. Her crotch says caviar. That is true. Okay, moving on. Moving on. The light at the neon sign is just totally blown. The colour and all that is not bad. So this is on the Google. I can make out the words on the signboard. And this is the Samsung. The sign behind is blown, you can't blown. read anything. So I think it's quite clear that the Google Pixel 2 has the best dynamic range. It's the only one where the neon signboard didn't blow. Yeah. Okay, so for this one, Bex took a picture of herself in a car, in a car park. It's a bit dark. It's pretty grainy. Ooh. The one from the Pixel 2 is pretty bright. You can see detail and she looks very nice, as she always does. And with the Samsung, it's also brighter than the iPhone. And it's beautified. Look, and it's beautified. It looks like her eyes have become a bit more smoky and her skin's a bit smoother. These are photos that were taken of her like with the back camera just on the streets mm. at night. She actually looks great in the Samsung because it is very sharp for a low light photo and her skin looks like super smooth. But the light is very evenly distributed so her skin tone looks amazing. Yeah. Like, But I don't feel like it's too much. So it doesn't look unnatural. You just look very nice. So if I'm going to compare like the day photos and the night photos, I would say in the day, I do like the Google Pixel too, but for the night photos, I prefer the Note 8 best. Now we're just pulling out all the videos from all three phones. I would say the iPhone's video colour is not as nice. Like parts where Gem walks under the light, you can see some are overexposed and some are really dark. So, like lighting-wise, it's not good. But for Samsung, it's Samsung, really good. It's really good. The Samsung video is fantastic. It looks really good. Gem looks great. And even when she walks under the light, it kind of like evens everything out. So the contrast of the good light and the bad light isn't isn't that bad. When you see, we walk into where the elevator area is. It changed the balance for you immediately, automatically. Yeah, but for the Google Pixel 2, she went dark for a bit. What we're testing for now is stabilization. Everything is actually pretty stable. Yeah. I really expected it to be like moving around, but it's but pretty maybe good. maybe it could also be because I'm a really good cameraman. Uh, all right. Think about the fact that you're holding it and you're walking down the stairs. So already yeah. there's like a bump there, Bouncing. but it doesn't reflect it at all. It doesn't give you a headache at all. Yeah, watching it. Yeah. So I guess for all three phones, for video stabilization, they're pretty on par. But for overall video quality, I would pick the Samsung Note 8 because it just looks aesthetically nicer. I wouldn't have to edit too much in post. I agree. I think yeah. the 8 is really, really good at handling the differences in white balance when you move from one lighting condition to another. Okay, so now we're going to look at low light video on all three phones. In generic low light in the car, the Google Pixel 2 is the only video where you can see Bex's face. Yeah. The and other two are like, just no go. Hmm, interesting. interesting. Ah, ah Nice! nice. <laughs> Samsung looks good. Uh, what's this Her in the skin middle? tone looks great and it's like well lit. The Google Pixel 2 looks washed out. It doesn't just look washed out, it looks yellow. Yeah. If you look at the part where she's standing in front of uh, Asanoya and you look at the details, the iPhone is overexposed. The, the Google Pixel 2 is so yellow. And the Samsung one just looks very nice. Okay, so we've kind of like reviewed the camera quite thoroughly, I would say. Yeah. And the conclusion is that 
In the daytime, the Google is better. In the nighttime, the Samsung is better. For video, the Samsung is better. But overall, all three are pretty solid cameras, I think. It's just how they differ. Yeah. You know, so it's and like what, what you prefer in, yeah. a, in a photo or video. Let's talk price. Let's talk price. The Google is the cheapest. The Samsung Note 8 is the medium one. And then the Apple iPhone 10 is the most expensive. Okay, so we don't have the price for the Google Pixel 2 in Singapore dollars because you can only get the phone under contract with Singtel. When it comes to camera, it's a very, very close tie between the Google Pixel 2 and the Samsung Note 8. Um, I think it depends on what your personal preference is because yeah. we think the photos on the Pixel 2 are better. Yeah, but the videos on the Samsung, we both like that better. Yeah. The strongest point that the Apple has going for it is the fact that it has access to the Apple App Store, which has the most range of apps. Also, it has decent video editing apps. In my experience, there are no good Android editing apps. So if you do know any good Android editing apps, please. Let us know. Let us know for video, for video. So I think uh, before we go on and pick which, in, which phone is our favourite, I think it's uh, prudent to say that all the phones are very very good phones. Right now it's really more of like which phone has like little differences that you like. So I think it comes down to personal preference at the end of the day. Yeah. Out of the three phones, which one do you like the best? Whew. That's a tough one. Yeah, it's a really tough one. Can we agree that ni both of us are not choosing the Apple? We are both not choosing the iPhone. Goodbye yeah. iPhone, you're yeah. too breakable and you're too expensive. Okay so I think it really really comes down to hardware versus AI. I can't live without a stylus so I have to pick the Note 8. But the Google Assistant on the Google Pixel 2 XL is just fantastic and you can download Google Assistant on the Samsung Note 8 but the voice recognition is just not as good. Things pull out really fast on the Pixel 2 and it's not as fast on the Note 8. For me, I find it really hard to pick because picture-wise, I definitely do like it on the Pixel 2 but for video, I like it on the Samsung. Is it okay to say that I can't pick? They're both worth the hype. Yeah, we think they're both worth the hype. Okay, so is Apple iPhone 10 worth the hype? No! Oh, we gotta get a lot of shit for that, you know, right? <laughs> you know, you know the fact is that if someone is a die-hard Apple fan, they don't care even if your Samsung can launch a rocket and they still think their Apple is better. I don't know if this is appropriate to add, but I'm just gonna say that we're both Apple users for a long time and we both converted to Android because it's just a better user experience, I think. We think we did a pretty good job like talking about all the basic functions of all three phones. It was so much for my brain. Yeah. It was so techy, but we hope you enjoyed the episode. Yep, and all three phones can download the Click Network app. So, you have no more excuse. Download the Click Network app so you can watch all our videos right when they come out. Till next time! Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs>